Hello students of class 12 CBSC Computer Science with Python. Welcome to TechBox 247. Thank you for the subscriptions made during the last month and I am very happy that most of the students are learning from my videos. Okay, I kindly request all the students to share my videos and the link of my channel to your friends and families and make them to subscribe. Okay, even one subscriptions mean a lot for me. Okay, please support TechBox 247. In the last video, I have taught you the answer keys for section A. In this video, we are going to discuss about the answer keys under the section B. Come on, let us move on to the video quickly. So question number one is expand the following terms. So these are very easy and very important too. I have asked you to prepare the abbreviations under the computer networking. Yes, what is XML abbreviation and PPP? So just you should expand this. So XML is nothing but extensible markup language. And PPP is nothing but point to point protocol. Understand? Let us see the next question. Give one difference between circuit switching and packet switching. Again, very easy question. So circuit switching is nothing but it is to establish what end to end path for the connection. Okay, this circuit switching is also said as dedicated path. Okay, so before the data is getting transmitted, the dedicated path has been created over the network. After that, finally the packets are getting transferred. The data are getting transferred. Next is your packet switching. In packet switching, we are transferring what fixed size of packet can be transmitted across the network. Okay, write any one difference, the two, if you are writing the correct difference between, then only can able to get your marks. The next one is, define the term web hosting. So again, they are coming up with what? Computer networking. So what is web hosting? Let us see the answer for this. So the definition part is very important. If you write the definition correctly only, then they will be providing you the marks. So what is web hosting? So web hosting is a way of hosting the web server application. On what? On a computer system. Through which the contents are readily available to any web browser. The next question is name any two web browsers. So these questions are asked in your sample question paper. So most of the questions are like what? under the sample question paper only. So you can write any two from this. That is your Google Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, Microsoft Internet Explorer, Opera, etc. So don't write Google. So Google is your search engine. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. Question number 20. The code given below accepts fine numbers and displays whether they are even or odd. Okay, observe the following code carefully and rewrite it after removing all the syntax and logical errors. Underline all the corrections made. Okay, let us see the corrections. So, let you see the question paper and watch it, watch the video now. Okay, so this is already the corrections are made here. So, these are your errors. On the definition, on the function header, you will be missing the colon here. Underline and put the colon. Second statement is right. And on your third statement, num is equal to int of input of enter a number. Okay, one bracket is getting closed, but this bracket is not getting closed. Okay, you should close this bracket and underline this. Understand? So these are your errors. And on the next line, if num slash two double equals to zero, is it right? No. So you should write num mod two double equals to zero. So underline and write the correct answer. Print even is right and else right and print odd. So print odd is having an indentation error. Okay, after the else part, the print statement will be starting under this else part only. So there will be an indentation error. So print function should be here, somewhat here. Print odd like this. Okay, so underline this and put the arrow mark. So how many errors are in total? So we are having 1, 2, 3 and 4. We are having 4 errors. 
let us see the next question write a user defined function in python named show grades of s which takes the dictionary s as an argument the dictionary s contains name that means english math and science as a key value pairs okay the function displays the corresponding grade obtained by the students according to the grading rules so they have said you that the dictionary s contains the name as a key okay and what and the name marks of the subjects see here for example you should consider this following dictionary s is equal to amit 928664 according to the subject it has been aligned then nagma they have given the marks and for david they have given the marks in the form of list okay so according to the grading rules you should print the output like this amit hyphen b nagma hyphen c david hyphen a okay for um for greater than or equal to 90 so it should print grade a and for less than 90 but greater than or equal to 80 you should print it is a grade b and if it is less than 60 then you should print the grade c so these are your average how to calculate the average of these three subjects so first of all you should add all these marks so for example for amit what is the average of amit 92 plus 86 plus 64 divided by 3 okay then you will be getting an average marks you should add all these numbers and you should divide by 3 total numbers okay 1 2 and 3 so that's why i have put 3 so you all know how to calculate the average of a given number so if you add and divide it by 3 then you will be getting the answer here okay so let us see the program for this first of all see this program first what you should do first you should globally assign this variable so you should globally assign this value that means amit is 928664 globally assign the values for this nagma is 6542 and 43 and david is 9290 and 88 you should assign it globally after that they have asked you to use the function name as show grades of s we are passing s as an argument here and we are going to iterate by using the for loop for i in s so i here i is nothing but what i are your keys okay for i in s i'm going to write what if s sum of s of i by 3 Divided by three is greater than or equal to ninety. Then it should print i hyphen a. Okay, what you are going to do? We are going to sum that. Yeah. So we are going to sum. Use the sum function to calculate what to add up all these three numbers: ninety-two plus eighty-six plus sixty-four. For that, we are going to use the sum function under this. Then sum of s of i. What is s of i? So I have written s of i here because s of i is representing the values under the dictionary. Values for this Amit key. Okay, so we are going to divide it by three and checking with the condition greater than or equal to ninety. Okay, if it is greater than or equal to ninety, then what it should get printed? It should print with i. I is nothing but the name of the person. I is nothing but the name of the person, comma. Then you should be printing. Hyphen also for that I have put hyphen in the quotation marks. After that comma you should put the grade A within the quotes. Okay. What is the second condition? The second condition is which is given here in the question. Okay. Let us see the second condition which is given here. Yes. Let us see the second condition. This is your first condition, and this is your second condition. So, second condition is if the average is less than ninety but greater than or equal to sixty, then it is for grade B. It should print as grade B. Okay. So, let us give under the else part here. Else part, if sum of s of i is less divided by three is less than ninety, 
okay less than 90 and sum of s of i by 3 is greater than or equal to 60 okay this is your second condition what it should print it should print the name of the person i after that it should print with hyphen then it should print with the b grade what is the third condition which is given here if the condition is average is less than 60 then it should print c grade c so the next print i hyphen grade c okay so if it is sum of s of i is what divided by 3 is less than 60 then it should print in this pattern so why i have put like this as because we needed as because we needed the output like this so amit hyphen b for this hyphen you should add the hyphen in the programming part within the quotation marks okay i is nothing but amit nagma and david and you should add the grades b c and a on your print function like this okay hope you all understand this question let us see the next program write a user defined function in python named puzzle of w comma n which takes the argument w as an english word and n as an integer and it returns the string every and returns the string where every nth alphabet of the word w is replaced with an underscore they have given the example here if w contains the word television then n is equal to 3 is provided then the function should return the string as T E underscore E V underscore S I underscore N. Okay, that means N is equal to 3 means on the length of 3 it should print underscore. That means 1, 2, 3. So on the third item it should print an underscore. Again 1, 2, and 3. On the third item it should print an underscore. According to the n value, the underscore is going to get printed. Suppose if the word what? Another example is they have given if n is equal to 4, it should print on the 4th, 4th indexing. Okay, 4th length. So, let us see the program for this. So, first of all, you should assign the global variables. So, global variable is w and n. So, it is assigned with television and n is equal to 3. Okay, so the next the user defined function which is given in your question is puzzle. Okay, w comma n is getting passed here. And you should open up variable and you should declare a new string, one empty string to store the new strings here. For that I have assigned the variable new string with empty string here. Then by using the for loop function, so for loop is from the range of len of w. Okay, what is length here? So let, let us count the length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So the len is nothing but 10 here. So it is working from the range function is working from 0 to 9. Okay. From 0 to 9 this condition is getting working. For i plus 1 the if condition is if i plus 1 more n double equals to 0 then it should the new string should get updated with the uh, underscore. Understand. So 0 plus 1. So on the first iteration for example I will teach you on the first iterations. Okay. 0 plus 1 more 3. That means 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1. 1 more 3 double equals to 0. No, it is false. If the condition is false, then the new string plus is equal to W of i. It means that the letter itself will be getting updated there. Okay. If it is equals to 0, that means on the third, third element only, it will work. 